Hello there. Sorry for the sudden contact. Are you Frank's wife? Yes, I am. Who is this? Actually, I'm dating your husband. My name is Amber. Seriously, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Didn't Frank tell you? I told him to talk to you properly. Honestly speaking, I haven't heard anything from him. Are you saying that my husband is having an affair with you? I don't think it's an affair anyway. Why do you think so? Because Frank and I really love each other. So it's definitely not an affair. Well, in the eyes of the general public, it may be seen as some sort of cheating. I'm sorry about that. Well, what do you want from me then? I have nothing to say to you. By the way, are you aware how risky it is for you to contact me like this? Of course I do. But... I still have to contact you since you're Frank's current wife. Current wife, huh? Sorry, but... I'm confused about a lot of things, and there are still some things I haven't caught up on. First, how did you find out about my contact information? Of course I looked at Frank's phone, memorized his ID, and searched for it. I did it while he was sleeping. I don't think you should have done that. I mean, you just used his phone without permission, and you contacted me recklessly. Anyway, we're prepared to pay you the full amount of the alimony. I can see that you're very well prepared. Excuse me for asking this question, but do you have a job? I'm a receptionist at the company Frank works for. I have some savings. I see. By the way, how much are you planning to pay for the alimony? About $2,000. I think that's more than enough, right? I think you need to revise the amount. What? Are you telling me that you only need less than that? Of course not. I wonder why you don't understand about the correct amount for alimony. But I can see that you're not sorry for what you've done at all. So, you mean that the amount is $20,000? Yes, that's right. It depends on the case anyway. That much? That's too much. I have a two-year-old daughter. Your affair with my husband will hurt her feelings badly too. You have to take into consideration as well. I know you have a young child, but we have a child here too. Are you kidding me? I can't believe that. You know what? I'm pregnant and it's Frank's child. Really? Yes, I'm four months pregnant. Oh my god, I can't believe Frank made you pregnant. I want to give birth to this child and build a happy family with Frank. So please, Julia, please divorce Frank, so I can get married to him. I haven't heard anything from Frank himself. Besides, I have a child to take care of, so I need to check first. Can you give me time to talk with Frank? Of course, I'm sure that he will divorce you. As for the alimony, I would appreciate it if you could give me a small discount. It costs a lot of money to have a baby. That sounds very selfish. I will consult with a legal expert and determine the amount. You must divorce Frank as soon as possible. Before this baby is born. Either way, I don't think it will take that much time, so please don't worry. Now, if you'll excuse me. I had a hunch that Frank was having an affair, but I had no idea that he was having a child. I was still in a daze about how to tell him and greeted him when he came home. When he came home and tried to touch my daughter, I felt a surge of disgust. 
I realized that I had enough, so I started discussing about divorce. Hello, Ember. Sorry for the delay. Finally, you contacted me. I've been waiting for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. It took a long time. I finally finished the divorce proceedings with Frank. Really? I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, have you heard anything from Frank yet? I've only met him at work since then. So we haven't heard anything from him. Well, I asked Frank to pay alimony and child support in one lump sum. I have hired a lawyer to complete all the procedures. We are now preparing to file a claim for alimony against you. I can't believe you don't know something as important as this. You're still going to ask for alimony? You were prepared for this, weren't you? Of course, I saved up the money so that me and Frank can build a happy family together. I will send the amount to you again by a certified mail. Please follow the instructions and make your payment. By the way, how much is it? Approximately $30,000. What? That's too much. Can you at least make it less? I'm going to have a baby now, and I'm sure I'm going to need a lot of things. You have a child yourself, so you understand that, don't you? Of course, I understand that a child costs money, but that's not a different case. I'm not going to give you any discount for alimony. I have a young child, my husband cheated on me, and we're getting divorced. You have robbed the mother and her daughter of their happiness. Please understand that and remorse on what you've done. I understand. I have Frank to support the household income anyway. I think I can manage, so I will pay you the alimony. It must be hard for you now that Frank is no longer your breadwinner, huh? Yes, it is hard. Thank you for your concern. I'm sorry I stole Frank away from you. Why did you go out with him if you knew that he was a married man? You knew the consequences, didn't you? Because I fell in love with him and wanted to be in a serious relationship. Frank said that his wife isn't pretty. He said it over and over again that he'd rather have me since I'm young and pretty. I can't just abandon him, can I? Oh, I see. Julia, you're busy taking care of your child that you got distracted and abandoned your responsibility to take care of yourself as a woman. That's why Frank dumped you. I think it can't be helped. What do you mean? I think you should reconsider that before you find the next person you want to have a date with. Thank you for your advice. My pleasure. The key to happiness is for a woman to always be pretty. I think it would be good for you to keep that in mind. I've never met you, but I'm sure you must be very pretty. Well, I'm a receptionist who works for a major company. I'm sure that I was hired because of my beauty. I see, you must be Frank's favorite type of woman. Do you think so? Frank has been in love with me from the beginning. I'm so happy to think that I'm destined to be loved by him from now on. I hope that your happiness will last for a long time. Julia, thank you so much for divorcing Frank. I hope you'll live a happy life too. Thank you. That's very nice of you. At this time, I was sure that Amber really thought she could be happy. I told my lawyer to request alimony from Julia. She agreed to pay in installments as a lump sum and indeed difficult. Two weeks after the first payment, she learned the truth about Frank. Julia, what on earth is going on? 
Please contact me now. Please. Amber, what's wrong? Don't pretend that you don't know anything about this. Why doesn't Frank come to me? I don't know, okay, but he already left the house. I thought he went to your place. Please don't lie to me. I know you divorced Frank in order to get a high alimony payment from me. You lied and stayed with him, didn't you? This is a fraud. Are you regretting it now? Please let Frank go as soon as possible. What are you talking about? Frank has moved out of the house. My daughter and I have already moved out too. I don't even know where he is. When he left, Frank said he's going to be with someone he really loves. Didn't he go to your place? I don't even know what happened to him after he left home. Not only did he not come, but I can't talk to him when I see him at work, and I can't contact him. What should I do? Well, looks like the woman Frank loves is not you. What a pity. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Please explain. It's Frank's fault for not informing you properly, isn't it? Actually, he's having affairs with three women, including you. You really didn't know about that? Seriously? You mean he's having affairs with several women at a time? It's unbelievable, isn't it? From the beginning, I had a feeling that he was cheating on me. When I got a call from you and questioned him, he came up with names other than you. When I asked him more, he told me that he was having an affair with three other women, including you. Can you believe that? He's such a jerk. I don't think I can do the same thing. Of course, I won't do anything that will hurt others' feelings. Are you really sure about that? Do you think he went to other women's place? But he told me that he loves me. I'm pregnant with this child. I know. Did you tell him about that? I did. I mean, I just said it on the phone. I'm sure he ran away from you. He's a coward. That sucks. If I pay you the alimony, I'll be penniless. What should I do? You promised me to pay the alimony. You also agreed to the amount. You should be thankful that I'm letting you pay in installments. It's none of my business. How are you going to get the money from? What are you talking about? I don't think I should be thankful to you. Let me say it again. I have nothing to do with Frank anymore. From now on, please get in touch with him by yourself. I tried, but he didn't answer my calls. Can you contact him for me? I'm sure he'll listen to you. Please help me. Why should I cooperate with an unfaithful husband who caused my divorce? That's a complete nonsense. But Frank went for another woman. It's not just my fault, don't you think so? Stop talking nonsense. It's your fault, too. I'm not saying that I hate you, but I won't cooperate with you even if the world turned upside down. I've suffered enough myself. I have no time to deal with your joke. Please don't say that. If Frank leaves me, how am I supposed to live from now on? No matter what it takes, why don't you just get Frank to admit that he's the father of your child? But he won't contact me. That's why I'm asking you a favor. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but I'm not Frank's wife anymore. I don't want to get involved. You won't help me? I won't be able to pay the alimony if you don't help me. If that happens, you'll be in trouble too, right? Don't worry. I'll do whatever it takes to get my alimony paid. I'll never let you run away from paying the alimony. Please, if I don't, do help me. I'll really be all by myself. That's impossible. Julia, we love the same man, right? I regret it so much now, but I don't even want to be reminded of it. Please don't say that. I thought me and Frank were about to get married and have a baby. 
I quit my job too. So please, at least you must cancel the alimony. I beg you. I can't pay that much by myself. Please transfer the fee to the specified account in the specified amount on the specified date. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry that I'm not a kind person. Oh no! I apologize from the bottom of my heart for having an affair with your husband. Please forgive me. That's not the way to say it. You haven't apologized from the bottom of your heart before, have you? That's not true. I apologize from the bottom of my heart even more than before. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm a victim too, so please reconsider about the amount of alimony. There's no way I'm gonna do that. Please just pay the alimony since I appreciate it more sincerely than your apology. I don't have any money. Please, at least tell Frank somehow. He said that he would come to me. I can't even give birth to his baby at this point. Frank has nothing to do with me anymore. I have no obligation to take care of you that much. Well, I'd be better off now. I wish you a long and happy life. I can't live a happy life in this state. Julia, please. That's because you were having an affair with Frank. I sincerely hope that from now on you won't make the same mistake ever again. Goodbye. In the end, Amber got so desperate that she told everything out loud at the office. She and Frank were both called in by the HR. It seems that all the other women with whom Frank was having an affair were in different departments in the company. Frank is now in a sticky situation. Well, he got what he deserved anyway. I'm going to check with the other partners to see if they knew that I was married to Frank. I'm consulting with a lawyer to see if I should file a claim for alimony. Frank seems to end up together with Amber who is pregnant with this child. I hope the two of them will do their best from now on. Steven? What the hell is this? I need an explanation. What are you talking about? What's the matter? I received a reminder letter from a bank. It is addressed to you. Oh. That. Did you borrow money? When? I had my reasons. I'm sorry, I've been so busy I've forgotten to tell you. What reasons could there be to borrow such a large amount of money? You have $35,000 of debt? I do, actually. $35,000 is a lot to repay. Why did you borrow money? There were a lot of expenditures. I couldn't make ends meet on my salary. So I ended up borrowing money. Okay, and what did you spend that money on? You know, to do things. What exactly? I will have no mercy unless you give me the details. I spent it to go out for drinks and to play slot machines. And to go to strip clubs. Are you out of your mind? You don't borrow money to go out and have fun. I can replay in installments anyway. I'll figure it out. That's not the point. We don't have any money to spare even though we both work. You can't hold down any job long enough to get a raise. You have a shitty job too. You only make a thousand dollars a month. Your job doesn't pay well either. With your income, we don't know when we can pay off the debt. Oh really? You borrowed money without thinking about it. Please Amanda, please do something. You were going to depend on me from the beginning, weren't you? Kinda. You're a dependable older wife. How dependent are you? I spoiled you too much because you're younger than me. I'm sure you'll manage to pay off the debt. I believe in you, Amanda. I'm so sorry about the debt. Are you? Really? I will do anything to make up for it when I get home. I'm really sorry. I promise I won't ever borrow money again. You can't undo borrowing the money. We can only pay it off. But this is the last time I forgive you. I know I'm too easy on you. 
but you don't get a second chance. Thank you, Amanda. I will work hard, too. It won't be easy to repay $35,000, though. We'll have to work multiple jobs. Can we do that? We have to work in our spare time between work. So we don't have any days off? Wow. <laughs> There's no other way. You have to work with me, too. I know. I will work hard. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Amanda. Not only on our days off, but we'll also schedule a shift before and after work we already have. We'll get paid more if we work in the early mornings and late at night. So don't expect me to do housework. I'll do the chores then. Yes. We'll pay off the debt within three years, no matter what. Can we? It's going to be hard, but we have to do it. The longer time it takes to pay it off, the more interest we'll have to pay. It's better to pay it off as soon as we can, even if we have to make sacrifices. You're intelligent, Amanda. That's what makes you dependable. Anyway, our goal is to pay off the debt within three years. No extravagance until we pay it off. Got it? How much is considered extravagant? No beer, no going out for drinks, no gambling, no going out on the weekends for a while. Wow. You deserve it. You're the one who borrowed money. You have to take responsibility for it. I know. Six months later. It's midnight. When are you coming home? I'm coming home now. Where have you been so late at night? I was out drinking with my coworkers. What? Why? You're not allowed to go out for drinks, remember? What do you think you're doing? Cutting loose? Please make an exception. My coworker is getting married. My coworkers and I were celebrating. You understand I can't miss a celebration party, right? Oh boy. If that's the case, I understand. But just don't tell me after it happened. It makes me feel betrayed. Tell me beforehand if you have a reason. I'm sorry. Did you pay by credit card? If so, I have to deposit more money in our account for next month's withdrawal. I did. And I paid for everybody's drinks tonight. What? I couldn't let my coworkers pay. I would have understood if you had bought drinks for your colleague who's getting married. But why did you have to pay for all of your colleagues? Because most of them are younger than me. I don't look good if I don't pay for all of them. And how much was the bill? It was about $400. Come on. What are you doing? I'm sorry. It costed more than I expected. We should have gone to the bar during happy hour. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Why do you think I'm working all day and night sacrificing my sleep? I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. You did something similar last month. Did I? You did. You spent nearly $200 saying you went out for drinks with your friend last month. You bought a $300 jacket the other day. You said you'd do the chores, but you don't do them at all. Clothes are a necessity. You could have bought a cheaper jacket. I've been thinking. I'm the only one who's been cutting costs. You're the one who borrowed money. I'm just helping you out. Did you forget that? I didn't. I've been cutting costs, too. But I'd go crazy if I can't cut loose once in a while. Just don't splurge anymore. We don't have to suffer like this once we pay off the debt. Just be patient for two more years. Two more years? That's a long time. If you don't work with me, I won't work anymore either. I'll quit my part-time job. I got it. I'll try not to do it again. Don't get so cranky. Stop messing around. What's your problem? What? I'm just kidding. You don't need to be so upset. Steven! We paid off the debt! Oh, for real? It was sooner than I thought. We paid it off six months earlier than our goal. We really worked hard for the past two years. We really did, didn't we? You still splurge sometimes, but that's not what matters. We should be happy about having paid off the debt. Yeah. I want to talk to you about something on this occasion. I wanted us to go on a trip together for the first time in a while. What a coincidence. There's something I wanted to tell you too. 
Is there? You go ahead then. I want a divorce. What? A divorce? Yes, I want to get a divorce from you. Why? We finally paid off the debt. We did pay off the debt, which means you're useless now. What do you mean? Do you still have no clue? <laughs> I made you work hard to pay off the debt. You're joking, aren't you? There's someone else. I'm going to get a divorce from you and marry her. What the? Are you serious right now? She's 12 years younger than you. She is so cute, unlike an old witch like you. She's been telling me to get a divorce, and I've been worried about what to do. Who are you calling an old witch? You're almost 40. You've been so naggish, and I've been so sick of you. I've been naggish because you didn't get yourself together. It's not like I wanted to be naggish. You're nagging again. Are you my mom? <laughs> I can't look at you as a woman anymore. I can't be with you. You said you liked older women before we married. How can you complain about it after all these years? I did like a mature older woman when I was younger. But now that I've gotten older, younger women catch my attention. <laughs> women should be fresh, you know? <laughs> Every woman ages. Plus, you don't earn much money. My new wife earns $2,000 a month. I don't need a low-earning old hag anymore. <laughs> Stop messing around. Have you got any idea how hard I've been hustling for the past two years? I've sacrificed my sleep and meals for work and have exerted myself. And you've been cheating on me with a young woman behind my back? Okay, okay. I had enough of your hardship stories. <laughs> you... I knew you were troublesome, but I didn't know you were such a scumbag. I wouldn't want a man like you even if you beg me. So you agree on a divorce? Don't take it back later. Yeah, I will divorce you. I will sign the divorce papers right now. So bring them to me. Oh, what should we do about the property division? I don't have any property to divide, though. <laughs> I will take my belongings with me, but I'll give you the furniture, the home appliances, and the apartment. It's a rented apartment, anyway. It saves me the effort to look for a new place. Move out ASAP, then. Throw out unnecessary things. You don't have to tell me. I know. Then our discussion is over. You said you wanted to talk to me about something, but I guess we're done talking now. We're getting a divorce anyway. I have nothing to tell you now. I'm going to file the divorce papers. Are you sure about this? You bet I am. <laughs> I don't want a low-earning old hag. <laughs> Just file those divorce papers. Okay, I will. I'm a free man now. Pack your bags and get out. I'll throw out your stuff if you don't do it soon. They accepted the divorce papers. Whew, that felt so good. Thank you. I'm moving out now. Huh? Why are you... Why are you thanking me all of a sudden? I meant... Thank you for breaking up with me. You would have taken all my money if we still had been together. I'm glad you told me about your affair and wanted a divorce. You only earn a tiny amount of money. <laughs> I don't want your money. <laughs> I haven't told you, but I got a new job and I'm earning a much higher salary. It's going to be over $5,000 a month. What? $5,000? You're totally happy with a woman who earns $2,000 a month, aren't you? Good for you. I wish you good luck. You're trying too hard. There's no way you got a job that pays $5,000 a month. I've worked every job I could in the past two years. I went on a lot of business trips to earn benefits. In fact, I had a fateful encounter on one of the trips. A fateful encounter? I had the opportunity to meet the executive of the parent company of the company I've worked for. There were a lot of mishaps at work, and the person in charge was completely useless. So I dealt with the problems instead. Then the executive recognized my ability to work and hired me. Stop being delusional. The executive of a large corporation would never recognize your ability. I don't care if you believe me or not, but it is a fact that my life is going to improve. I'm going to quit my current job by the end of March and move to New York. To New York? The company is located in Manhattan. You've always dreamed of living in New York. Too bad you can't realize that dream. You can't move there with me after getting a divorce. I'm not jealous. What good things could happen if an old hag like you moves to New York? Your best years as a woman has long gone. New York is not only a place for young people. There are a lot of fun things to do for people my age. Well, it doesn't concern you anyway. 
live happily ever after with a country girl in a small town. Who do you think you are, making fun of me? Who do you think you are, calling me an old hag? Look at you, your grandpa. Don't you see that the joke is on you whenever you call me an old hag? You're a scumbag who does nothing but get into debt. Shut up. You can't even think of a word to talk back to me. It proves your lack of vocabulary knowledge that you can only think of a simple insult. I am so ashamed to have devoted myself to a bonehead even for a short time. Why didn't you tell me about your new job? You brought up a divorce before I could tell you. Is that what you were going to tell me? It was close. I'm so glad I let you talk first. If I told you this, you wouldn't have told me about your affair or brought up a divorce. I got out of taking a good-for-nothing asshole to New York with me. I should throw out unnecessary things when I move. You, idiot! You're lower than me, whom you've always looked down on. Wait for a second. You were headhunted because I borrowed money. Give me some of your earnings. You're undoubtedly dumb. Do you actually believe I would say yes? I already sent all my belongings to my apartment. By the way, feel free to welcome that young country girl to your home any time. Wait, Amanda. You still love me, don't you? Don't be stupid. There's no way I still love you. You're just mad because I cheated on you. I'll break up with that girl. So, do you want to get back together with me? I'm good. Go ahead and marry that girl. I know that any woman who takes someone else's man is a hoe. She's a perfect girl for you. I hope you live happily ever after with a hoe who has nothing but youth. A year after Stephen and his girlfriend married, they were drowning in debt. As it turned out, they were both extravagant spenders. This time, there was no one to save Steve's skin, and they were on the edge of bankruptcy. Stephen contacted me to ask for help. He asked me to lend him money, but I refused him without a second thought. His new ex-wife dumped him and disappeared from him. She turned out to be a hoe, just as I thought. On the contrary, I have changed dramatically since my new life started. I have lost weight, changed my makeup and hairstyle, and started putting on nicer clothes. There are many beautiful women around the age of 40. Those women also enjoy fashion, work, and romance. I decided to be one of them. My life starts here, now.